In terms of the aviation headlines of 2018, the controversy surrounding the Boeing 737 MAX program and the design issues with the aircraft has dominated the scene this year. While airlines grounded the aircraft following the crash of ET-302 earlier in March of this year, the problems and the reported flaws of the 737 MAX 8, the aircraft involved in both incidents, began following the crash of Lion Air JT-610, which crashed just after takeoff from Jakarta Sukarno Airport on the morning of October 29, 2018. The crash claimed the lives of 189 passengers and crew. Nearly a year after the fatal crash, the Indonesian National Transportation Safety Committee released the final report of its findings on the investigation related to the crash of JT-610. While the design flaws of the Boeing 737 MAX was highlighted, the investigators concluded of a series of events and failures that led to the eventual crash of the aircraft. In terms of the MCAS and the Angle of Attack Sensors or the AOA, there are much better content on YouTube to elaborate further on how the system works and if you are interested, you can read the final report which goes in depth into how the system works. In short, the MCAS or the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System would tilt the nose down of the aircraft if it senses the aircraft is going into a stall. The data used to determine if the aircraft is in a stall situation are the AOA sensors which are located just outside the cockpit. And as we have learned, the previous flight the aircraft was used on was experiencing a similar issue and investigators found out that the replacement that was made for an AOA sensor on the aircraft was misaligned and there was no way to determine whether the testing for the new sensor was adequate enough for approving the aircraft to go on flight. The issues of the previous flight was not made aware for the pilot and co-pilot of JT-610 as investigators did also point out of the lack of documentation related to the repair work and the reported problems by the previous flight crew. And after the takeoff of the flight without the awareness of the situation and the condition of the aircraft, the crew would eventually get overwhelmed by a lot of warning messages which led to communication problems leading to the aircraft crashing into the sea. While it was a series of events that led to the crash of JT-610, the investigative team did point out some things about Boeing and the assumptions that made related to how pilots would deal with the MCAS on the 737 MAX. In the report, the investigators pointed out that Boeing did not take into account the possibility of the event of one faulty and one erroneous AOA sensor, stating, quote, Boeing considered that the loss of one AOA and erroneous AOA as two independent events with distinct possibilities. The combined failure event probability was assessed as beyond extremely improbable. Hence complying with the safety requirements for the air data system. However, the design of MCAS relying on input from a single AOA sensor made this flight control system susceptible to a single failure of AOA malfunction. The report also identified flaws in Boeing in its design process and reporting, as well as the FAA oversight, stating, quote, Boeing did not submit the required documentation and the FAA did not sufficiently oversee Boeing ODA without documenting the updated analysis in the stabilizer SSA document. The FAA flight control system specialists may not have been aware of the de design change. Another contributing factor is related to the differences between the Boeing 737 next generation aircraft such as the Dash 700 and Dash 800s compared to the MAX aircraft, which pilots of one aircraft can switch to the other without the need of added simulator training. Investigators pointed out to the lack of the AOA disagree warning, which was not made available on this aircraft. Especially for this flight crew in particular, which had thousands of hours of flight experience on Boeing 737 aircraft, saying, quote, Flight crews trained on previous versions of the B-737 aircraft would have been aware of the AOA disagree message on the PFD should such condition arise. However, because the AOA disagree message was not available on B-737-8 MAX aircraft, 
not fitted with the optional AOA indicator, Flycruise would not be aware of this message would not appear if the AOA disagree conditions were met. This would, lead, this would contribute to flight crew being denied valid information about abnormal conditions being faced and led to a significant reduction in situational awareness by the flight crew. With what was supposed to be Boeing's grand aircraft for the future, has devolved into having one of Boeing's worst crises in company history and the economic impact on airlines who have turned to the Boeing 737 MAX for their future, this will definitely sway away potential new customers and also make current Boeing customers review their orders and their future dealings with the company. Among these companies could be Lion Air, which has been a reliable, strong Boeing customer, as along with the Boeing 737 MAX aircraft, it also has Dash 800 and 900 aircraft to its fleet, one of the biggest Boeing operators in Asia. The other is Southwest, which have gone on to the media and press to state that they are now considering Airbus aircraft after a long history of having Boeing aircraft. For Asian aviation regulators, while the word of the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration has been a strong source of credibility, it's now been tarnished. And while they will take the recommendations of the FAA, Asian aviation regulators will now put aircraft built by Boeing under more scrutiny. What are your thoughts on the release of the final report by the Indonesian authorities related to the crash of JT-610? And do you think Boeing can recover its image and reputation with airlines and the traveling public as a result of the issues surrounding the Boeing 737 MAX? This has been another edition of Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates from the aviation and travel scene in the Asia Pacific. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, thank you for watching and have a great day.